With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to select the character that proves that frogs have evolved from the fishes. Now we all know that evolution is an ongoing process in nature. It is a force which is always active because of which we are able to see some gradual changes in all the life forms over the course of time. So evolution is a slow and directional process and it is because of these evolutionary changes that we are able to see such a complex biodiversity on our earth today. So if we talk about the higher animals, particularly the vertebrates, evolution has been very gradual for them also. We place many groups under vertebrates. We have the fishes, then we have our amphibians, after that our reptiles, then the birds and finally the mammals. But out of all of these groups, the group which evolved first, the group which appeared first were obviously the fishes because life originated in water and the plants and animals both invaded the land or the terrestrial habitat much later. So out of the vertebrates, the fishes were the first to appear on the earth. And so we can say all the vertebrates, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals, we have all evolved from the fishes. Fishes are the ancestor. And it is believed that around 350 million years ago, some of the fishes developed some strong and stout fins with the help of which they could come on the land. So these fishes evolved in such a way that they could survive on land. And it was such fishes that slowly evolved into the amphibians because amphibians are one such group which lead a dual life. They also live on both land and water. So the fishes are the direct ancestors of the amphibians. And how can this be proved? Always if two organisms have a very close relationship from the evolutionary point of view, if they have descended from the same ancestor or they have such a close phylogenetic relationship, we are able to see that we observe some similarities and here our theory of recapitulation is going to hold good, which states that ontogeny repeats phylogeny. So basically this statement was given by Haeckel and it means that the ontogeny, that is the life history of an organism, is just a representation of its phylogeny or its evolutionary history. So that is why if we look at the embryonic development of any vertebrate, even if we are looking at the development of a human fetus, there will be a stage in the development of human baby also in which the embryo will look like a fish embryo. So this is because fishes are our ancestors and that is why similarly with amphibians we also see that if we look at their young ones, if we look at their larval form, that is their tadpoles, they are going to show similarity to the fishes and the most common thing that we can point out over here is the presence of gills. The adult frog has no need for gills. On the land, it breathes with the help of its lungs. In the water, it uh, does respiratory exchange with the help of its moist skin. But the tadpole or the young ones of the frog have these gills. So it shows that the fishes are the ancestors of frog and they have a very close relationship. So because ontogeny repeats phylogeny, that is why we are seeing such similarity. And our correct answer is here. Option B. Tadpole larvae in frog shows that frogs are very closely related to the fishes and fishes are the ancestor of frog. Otherwise, if we look at the other options, they are saying ability to swim in water. Now, many of the animals are aquatic. Doesn't mean all of them are closely related. Next, they are saying similarity in shape of the head. So, such similarity in the morphology again does not necessarily show that they have a close phylogenetic relationship. And their food habits also might be very similar. They are saying feeding on aquatic plants. But still, two organisms might not have evolutionary relationship. So how can we find out if uh, they have common ancestor? If they are showing similarities in their ontogeny, then we can conclude that there must be similar phylogeny also.
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.